Everybody needs to stay at the Four Seasons when it comes to healthcare, and everybody can if it's digital. We don't have to sacrifice what's greatest about medicine, which is advancement technology and technology iteration and investment. The virtual human is a very important piece of the offering of continuous healthcare. At the USC Center for Body Computing, Dr. Leslie Saxon and her team are trying to solve the problem of making healthcare more accessible. And the answer may be straight out of a Hollywood sci-fi movie. We feel that we can template our best experts at USC and we can create a virtual human army of experts that can reach anyone in the world with high-end medical information that's specific to them. And the important part of that agent is that it's fueled by artificial intelligence, so it gets smarter and smarter. So the technology that we have here uh, consists of several different stages. So we're doing a body capture using a process called photogrammetry. What we have is a cage built of 100 cameras where we simultaneously capture the person from 100 different angles. Another process that we have is we, we pay particular attention to the face, is we're taking many different uh, scans of a person's face, different expressions. And we put those together in order to create a good representation of the person that we want to capture. It doesn't look like that person, but a little bit weirder. It's actually their expressions. We're starting to really develop and build these solutions because of technology advances and test them. So it looks like it's this new healthcare system can become a reality in my lifetime. That's really exciting for me. The other thing that's just amazing about the virtual human me is that she's smarter than me. She's always in the same mood. She's informed by the guidelines. She's up to date. She's always there for you, delivering the information in a standardized way. Because the average doctor right now spends about 70% of their time doing custodial duties that a virtual human could do better. In that way, you have to train less people and you could provide those oncologists, those cardiologists, those high-end experts actually over a greater population of people. That's how you're able to deliver healthcare to more people, but high quality healthcare. We're not trying to replace person to person care. In fact, we're trying to make physicians in high touch and emotionally connected care and caring care available to many more people. Often that doesn't have to be a real human being though. It can be a virtual human being, and then there'll be more of those real human beings to serve the people that really need them.